Hi, I'm Alex Ronzi. Welcome back to the Sportscast of Life here on YouTube. In this video, I wanted to go over replacing audio in highlights. Now, this technique is fantastic if you subscribe or if your league has a uh, pay-per-view video broadcast that has one piece of audio on it, for example, a home broadcast and you're on the road, or maybe you're trying to pair highlights to a camera with just natural sound, with just crowd reaction. Uh, here's a great way and an easy and simple technique uh, to place your play-by-play -play over the top of video with either foreign audio uh, or just audio that you want to change. So obviously, uh, with this, you need some sort of video editing program. And I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, you can use things like Sony Vegas. You can use things like Windows Media Player or Windows Movie Maker, pardon me. I'll post a, a link to a story we did on the life uh, about uh, the top video editors, and you can check those out if you don't have one already. Also, you obviously need the uh, video that you're going to open overlay the audio on and as well your audio. So we're taking a, a video clip here from a game that I did back in March of uh, 2016 a, in Nanaimo, uh, a playoff game against the Nanaimo Clippers. Now, the original call was from uh, Dan Marshall, uh, the voice of the Nanaimo Clippers and one of the best in the business. So it's almost sacrilege to replace the audio over the top of him. But for the uh, benefit of uh, the fans of the team uh, that I cover, we try to keep everything consistent through the year. So the first thing I'm looking for here is something some sort of a key point and some sort of moment where I'm able to sync everything up. And for hockey, it's pretty simple. I'm looking for the goal. And I'll go based on the home guy's reaction and I'll also go based on what I see on the video. So I know I'm a couple of seconds back here, so I'm just going to play it and I'm going to find my point and I'm going to hit stop. The ball at the right point. Ball took a shot. Score! So it's about there where I, I feel that I would be saying, you know, beginning into my goal call. So I've stopped it there. I'm going to hit I to set my in point, and I'm going to drag that down onto my timeline. Now, I'm obviously starting right at the goal. I'm going to do the same thing with my call, with, with the audio of my call. I'm going to start a few seconds back and find where I want to start. Ball, a drive, they score! So it's kind of around there uh, that I feel that uh, that will match up. And you can change this as it goes. And I'm going to drag that down onto a second audio timeline. Now here uh, I've got two tracks of audio, but you'll see over here in Adobe Premiere Pro and, and other video editing programs have this as well. You can toggle track output. So I basically muted audio one so that all I will see uh, or all that I will hear, pardon me, is my track of audio here on audio 2, which is enabled. Now that I've got everything pretty much synced up, I'm going to drag everything out until I can't go any further, and that's either the start of the video or the start of the audio, and I'm going to see uh, how well I did. I'm going to first just blow this video up because the resolution on it isn't great, so I just want to be able to see it a little bit better, and I'm just going to see how close I came. Baker holds, draws a man in, opens up Halasian, now for ball, a drive, they score! So that's pretty close, and I can tell that it's pretty close, and I'll play it once more here. Watch the puck and listen for the puck hitting the sticks. Holds, draws a man in, opens up Halasian, now for ball, a drive! So you can hear you can hear the shot, you can hear the passes as well. So I know I'm pretty much bang on there. If I was to move it, uh, it'd be you know by a couple of frames at most. But for my purposes, I am totally and completely happy uh, with that. So all I'm going to do now uh, is trim everything up, put everything back at the start, so it starts at zero, and that's my video. So right now I've replaced. The uh, original audio with my own call uh, that I had already edited and clipped out uh, using a program like uh, Audacity or some other audio editor. Uh, and I'm now able to go export that and upload that to YouTube or do whatever I want uh, with it. You can also use the same technique. It is a little bit different for videos with uh, natural sound. There you're looking for some sort of audio cr uh, clue uh, from the crowd or from the game. The sticks, uh, the pucks hitting the sticks, uh, if it's in football, uh, a hits or, or some sort of context. Something that makes noise will be your trigger. And think of it like in a movie uh, where the director has the, the, the clapboard that they, they bang to get that sound to be able to sync the audio uh, and the video. Think of it something like that. So you just want to find yourself a cue point, uh, be able to uh, match that up with your audio and your video, and then away you go and you're able to export. A very, very simple technique uh, for a very, very uh, effective end result, and it keeps everything consistent for those uh, following your broadcast throughout the year. Thank you so much for watching uh, this Sportscaster Life video presentation. My name is Alex Ronzi. For more sportscasting uh, news and resources, make sure you visit sportscasterlife.com.